haven't gushed enough yet about the newest 5e supplement that i added to my collection so i'm gonna do it it's perfect for anyone who took a look at the offerings in the player's handbook and they were like i'm sorry if i have to play an animal i have to be a one of three types of birds and two types of cats and like maybe a minotaur and that's it don't get me wrong i love a good kenku character but it's a little bit limiting sometimes which is where if you're one of those people who's like i want to play an anthropomorphized something this is the place to look. This right here is Historia. Um, I'm not paid to talk about this, but it was sent my way for free by Mana Project Studios because it's a dark fantasy supplement for 5e. And the biggest draw to it for me personally, like honest review, is how many fucking races they have for D&D 5e. Like they have an insane number of races that you can play. In the middle of the book, there's a bunch of different like families of creatures, each with their own like subsets of species that you can play. They all have their own traits, their own characteristics. So it gives you a lot of role play guidance, a lot more than a normal, you know, anthropomorphized race in D&D would be. You got hedgehogs, you got moles, you got like 17 different types of birds and mice and things. The cats? Oh my god, you're not just a tabaxi or a leonin anymore. There's a bunch more. You could be a fucking puma. Same with like the lupine type species. Coyotes, foxes, wolves, all of it. And it's all like perfectly adaptable to 5e. So you still have all the same base statistics. So speed and size and things like that racial abilities and whatnot. It's just a fuck ton more options. Like this isn't even all of them. The story itself is also not just a book full of races and like different class options on the player side. It's its own fantasy setting. It comes with new classes, new backgrounds, new features. Since it's like a Renaissance type thing. They also have firearms available and a small guide to Vesteria, which is the world that it takes place in. Obviously you can take what you want and leave the rest for just like any, you know, 5e supplement. But if you really want to just like dive right into it, you can have your GM grab the adventures book. It's, oh my God, I just hit myself. <laughs> But it's got a bunch of different adventures that you can just kind of like pick up and play. So I love it. I think it's fantastic. I tell almost everyone I know about this at some point. So shout out to Mana Project Studios for making it and sending it my way. Fantastic work.